Okay, so here at my laptop, and I'm going to read you a, a, a question that I got emailed yesterday and what I wrote as an answer. So she emails, you may have answered this in the podcast, but I probably have missed it, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyway, my question is, why is it that one can be so bloody miserable during recovery? Not depressed sort of miserable, but the perception that everything is a disaster and that um, you can be rational one minute and then something goes wrong and it's the end of the world. And my answer to that was, um, I think that when the body is underweight or in malnutrition, it is stressed as fuck. So anything that is more than just day-to-day -day living is too much to take. I used to feel like the world was ending over the smallest thing. I got a speeding ticket once and had a complete meltdown in the car that if anyone had been there to see, they would have thought I was totally nuts. So that happened many times, actually. When I was in recovery, well, not even just in recovery, to be fair, when I was restricting as well, I was stressed as fuck the whole time. And I really remember this instance one where I got a speeding ticket. It wasn't a huge speeding ticket. It was a really small one because I was going like five miles an hour over or something, five miles an hour or more or something. It really wasn't a big deal. And um, I had a complete meltdown. Like, as in, in the car, screaming, crying, banging on the steering wheel, freaking out, screaming at the top of my lungs. I kind of pulled over and just had this huge, ah! a really small speeding ticket. And I always also remember that when that sort of thing happened, especially if it was something to do with money, so I got this speeding ticket, my first thought was after I was freaking out was, okay, well, I can make this better by restricting. Um, or I can make this better by exercising more. It's like the energy balance thing transcribed over to the money. And so if I did something wrong in a monetary sense, or if I was fined, then I would make that right by exercising or eating less, which makes no sense unless you have anorexia. And I know that there's gonna be some of you listening to this that know exactly what I'm on about and probably do the same sort of thing. So, well, how does that improve? It improves with nutritional rehabilitation. Because when you're in malnutrition, as I said, your brain is stressed as fuck. And so every little thing on top of that is like the last straw that broke the camel's back and you just end up freaking out. It's like your body is so stressed that it can barely handle day-to-day -day living. So anything more, any increased stressor is just too much. Cannot handle it. I'm going to freak out because they don't have Granny Smiths at the grocery store today. That sort of thing. Um, when you get nutritionally rehabilitated, that goes away because your body's not stressed as fuck anymore all the time. And so it can handle stuff. <laughs> and now it really, um, for years, it's just some, if something big happens, it, it boggles my mind as how laid back I can be about it. Um, I've, had, I've had more speeding tickets, bigger ones. <laughs> and it doesn't matter I don't care it's not like I don't care I don't go out and try and get speeding tickets don't get me wrong but it's not the end of the world when that happens that noise if you can hear it is stinky trying to kill a cardboard box in the corner I was going to use that cardboard box now stinky's ripped the shit another real life example I have a house full of animals at the moment they are everywhere because I'm dog sitting <laughs> hi Pugsley I'm dog sitting for some friends and so I basically have a house full of little monsters that spend the time scratching up the place one of the dogs crapped on the carpet this morning right there um, <laughs> and that's the kind of thing that used to drive me absolutely nuts but now I'm just like oh well I just cleared it up I guess it's not a big deal this stuff used to stress me out nothing is a catastrophe anymore Animals are just small day-to-day -day stuff. They're nothing really to get stressed about. In the last couple of years, I've had some pretty big stressors. We've done everything from emigrate to move house, switching jobs, um, lots of stuff really. But I don't get stressed about stuff the way that I used to. It really doesn't happen. It's not that like I'm going to scream my head off type of stress anymore. This is, no, so I'm not saying that nothing is stressful. Of course, that's not the truth. But my reaction to things are a lot more relaxed and I can handle stress really well. Um, it used to be that I was always the person that was freaking out most about everything and now generally I'm the person that's the most relaxed when something stressful happens. Um, I'm just like, oh well, we'll just sort it out. It's not worth getting worried about, it's not worth fretting about. 
um, that's how I used to be before I had anorexia. And thankfully, that's how I am again now. So there are so many reasons why getting to full recovery is worth it. And it's just, that's another one of them. The, be, the ability to handle shit hitting the fan or the carpet and not freaking out about it or not losing your mind and just being able to breathe and get on with things is a real blessing. It's really worth getting here for.